increasing donor impact with collective intelligence through the CIPA SDGs program. The collective intelligence-based program to accelerate achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals, or CIPA SDGs, leverages collectively intelligent cooperation to significantly increase impact per donor dollar. The use of collective intelligence through CIPA SDGs also removes the barriers to cooperation so that where the dollar value of cooperation is positive, the size of the cooperation can be grown until it significantly increases impact on whatever problem is being targeted. The CIPA SDGs program cooperates across regions by building infrastructure, such as the Social Impact Marketplace platform, that can be replicated to other regions. This infrastructure enables donor and government programs in other regions to scale their impact in return for funding the building of that infrastructure in the current region. The Social Impact Marketplace includes instruments of cooperation called Impact Capacity Bonds. These instruments are a commitment to reimburse the program for creating the capacity to increase impact, where the amount is a small portion, say 5%, of the value of the impact actually achieved. Telling the donor, in effect, if I find you $100, will you give me $5? is paying them to cooperate in supporting the agriculture, healthcare, or other value chains that convey that impact. Alternatively, donors may recognize that the healthcare, education, renewable energy, water and sanitation, food security, and employment value chains can be replicated to other regions to support their initiatives there. Donors can then simply choose to support the CIPA SDGs pilot in the CARICOM region outside of any impact capacity bonds that would, that would require the donor have benchmarks for impact currently achieved per program dollar. Each of the 10 phases of the program cooperates by building collective intelligence technologies and solutions that further increase impact of each subsequent phase while incorporating additional SDGs. This program structure enables more donor and government programs to scale their impact in return for aligning with these 10 phases. The semantic modeling technologies being researched in phase one will be deployed in the collaborative design platform in phase three to enable significant growth in the housing market in the pilot country through more cost-effective housing and through access to housing finance. To incentivize investment in this research, the social impact marketplace includes instruments of cooperation called impact C-squared bonds. These instruments, are a commitment to reimburse the program for creating technologies with the capability to be included in multiple solutions to increase capacity for impact, where the reimbursement is a portion of the value achieved. In this case, the Design for Change Nairobi Challenge, planned for phase three, will use the collaborative design platform to design modular housing with integrated renewable energy and other solutions that together can reduce the cost of living by the $30 to $100 per month required to lift many families above the poverty line. Design for Change Europe and Design for Change Silicon Valley challenges will bring these benefits to upscale housing and pave the way to, to entire smart cities. Again, donors may simply just recognize that these technologies have value in their region and support the CIPA SDGs in the, in the CARICOM region through grants without any formal instrument of cooperation. The social impact marketplace enables donors, governments, partners, and others to find and participate in these potentially thousands of opportunities to increase their impact. As a result, more donors and governments in this and other regions are incentivized to cooperate in supporting the program. More donors and governments providing support means that the program can fund more infrastructure than can be justified by the value of the benefits of the program in one region alone. By designing value chains that support their programs and inserting those value chains into the CIPA SDGs program, donors can give to the same causes through the same trusted organizations. But by doing so through the CIPA SDGs program, they can significantly increase their impact. For example, the South Sudan School Uniform Conceptual Model described in the video, the CIPA SDGs program, 
outlines a potential 50 times increase in impact per program dollar. In phase one, this program will help donors focused on agricultural livelihoods in the CARICOM region to design agricultural value chains that support their targeted agribusinesses. If the program selects a donor's value chain for the pilot, then the program will replicate that value chain to all 15 CARICOM member states through private investment. Attracting the private investment to replicate the $2 million pilot value chain in up to 15 CARICOM member states in phase one can scale the impact of the donor's funding by up to 15 times to 30 million. This program aims to attract a queue of donors looking to support their value chains this way. Phase two will target impact on access to affordable healthcare, education, renewable energy, water and sanitation, as well as food security and employment. Later phases will target impact on housing, the infrastructure of entire smart cities, and other impacts. These later phases will help donors design value chains that support an increase in impact of their initiatives in these other areas. To disseminate knowledge of these benefits, we're working with the University of the West Indies to launch a Center for Collective Intelligence in the Caribbean where the pilot of the SIPA SDGs program will be launched. Understanding collective intelligence isn't necessary to participate in the program, only for those wishing to design value chains for collective intelligence. The CC4CI will also educate on the use of the principles of collective intelligence to design and engineer products and services with significantly increased capacity for impact. As an example, we've used these principles to architect a healthcare solution with the potential to save enough of the seven trillion in healthcare expenditure worldwide for the savings to pay for universal healthcare for those without. We're architecting other collective intelligence-based solutions in education, renewable energy, water and sanitation, agriculture, employment, and other sustainable development goals, where those solutions also leverage collective intelligence to gain the capacity for significantly increased impact. Thanks for watching.